Americans trade for money, money. Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off, and foremost, all praise is honor and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makar Kadash. Double honesty, the other apostles of great millstone salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Uh, let me hop straight into it with this video. Money is work and strive for money. Money is power. Money is the only weapon that the Jew has to defend himself with. Oh, never. Come, you must speak with you. All of you. Much money is lost through sending gold by coach from one country to another. In times of war, it is seized by the enemy. In times of peace, by thieves. You are five brothers. I want you each to start a banking business in a different country. One to go and open a house in Paris. One in Vienna. One in London. Choose the most important centers. In your day, there will be many wars in Europe. And nations that have money to transport will come to the Rothschilds because it will be safe. But you must stand by one another. No one brother must be allowed to fail while another brother succeeds. Your five banking houses may cover Europe, but you will be one firm, one family. The Rothschilds who work always together. Right, one family. All right, hey, that's really the uh, the nature of Esau. Esau. Right now, this is a movie day that the elders always tell us to watch, and I happen to come past uh, this old clip, and it goes into how Esau sits on the pinnacle of everything. Elder uh, uh, Malcolm always goes into it. All right, <clears throat> these small hats sits on the top of every world you could think about. The world of football, the world of music, the world of television, uh, uh, so on and so forth. Hey, the world of finance, all right? The the the, uh, the world of uh, law, all right. Woe to him that prescribes mischief by law, all right. Woe to him that describe uh woe to him uh, that declare declare uh, unrighteous decrees, all right. They say, let us uh, uh, let our power be in the law of justice. All right, so this is Esau Edom's criminal empire. All right, how he went into how the five brothers must stick together, how they're supposed to be one firm. All right, matter of fact, you already know James, James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl, for your misery shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garment, garments are moth eaten. And because what? If he, these small hatters, hey, how he went to the history, all right? Uh, 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 how they took over, set up uh, 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 the banking systems and things of that nature. To what? Not always to have money, but to what? Ultimately, gain control of everything. You finance both sides of the war. It doesn't matter who wins. You're going to be in the favor or you're going to have the favor of whatever said nation comes out on top. Okay? Your riches are corrupted. Your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered. And the rust of them, all right, the wickedness of how you got this money, all right, should be a witness against you. Now, is not the skirt of Babylon lifted up? All right? We know the wickedness of Esau and Edom. And we know who financed slavery. All right? We know this. Okay? And it should eat your flesh as it was a fire. Ye have heaped treasure together in your last days. In your last days. Now, what was he going into? You no, know, gold is transported by these different com uh, countries, especially in times of war. All right. Uh, in times of peace, it's taken by, by thieves. All right. So Esau knows that this gold uh, holds value. All right. And we all know that printing paper money devalues it. So Esau came up with a billion, brilliant system, all right, got all the value that he could out of it. Now he's going to bankrupt that system and go into what? A digital system, an MOTB, because guess who's going to sit on top of that fucking system? Esau Edom, and it's going to be a, 
hey, these motherfucking small ha- hazards, man. All right? Esau, hey, that's the chief house of Edom, okay? It says, behold, the hire of the laborers who you have reaped down your fields and you, uh, which you have kept back by fraud, crieth, all right? Now, how have you kept it back by fraud? Hey, America, this economy, hey, wait, yeah, let, let me say it, let me say that. This, the world economy, all right? for the most part, was built on the backs of slaves, man. All right? Because who does the world come under as far as uh, the financial system? The the U.S. petrodollar, which is losing power. How did that U.S. petrodollar get strong even before the petro? Hmm. The backs of slaves, the backs of Hebrew Israelites, all right? All tribes, all right? From the West Coast of Africa... Hey, from uh, the northern kingdom being taken and spread across uh, 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 the Americas and uh, to the other side of the earth. Okay? This is the doing of Esau Edom. All right? And this, this, is, this is a carefully thought out plan. All right? Micah 2 and 2. Woe to them that devise iniquity. That's what that father was just doing. That's what the father was doing. Talking to his other uh, uh, other five sons of the house of uh, Rothschild, he was devising iniquity, how to set it up, how to do it, to work an evil upon their beds. When it is morning, it is light. They practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Job nine and twenty four, and they covet fields. They take them by violence in houses. They take them away and oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh: Behold, I am against this family, behold, against this family do I dev- devise an evil, from which ye should not remove your necks, neither shall you go haltedly, for this time is evil. So guess what? Now Esau's judgment is coming. All right? Woe unto him that laid of himself with uh, a thick clay, that debt. All right? Because what? You have a bill to fucking pay, man. In his blood. But this is the characteristics. This is the spirit of the wicked. How he thinks and plans out shit. This, this plan, this financial plan, the plan was planned hundreds of years ago, man. Okay? Well, not hundreds, but shit. hundred and some change, man. And then even going back to the 1800s, like certain shit was already in fucking motion for certain things to happen. All right? You mean you go back to the Titanic? Even before then, there was certain with J.P. Morgan. There was certain shit going on, man. Certain chess pieces was being played at that moment, man. And now the ultimate chess piece is about to, uh, chess piece is about to be put in play, which is the MOTB, which is going to be the new financial system. And who's going to back it? And who's going to sit on top of it, man? You should know that answer. All right. And so with that. Hey, like I said, it's an Obadiah, man. All the uh, all the people that you slept in bed with, you no, know, according to Revelations 18, all the people you thought was confederate with you, it's going to bite you in the ass, man, because this whole system is corrupt. And right, with that, show one.